most important things in film photography is learning how to load your camera correctly. First of all, film is loaded from the back of the camera. And we can open the back of the camera by pulling up this section here, which is called the rewind knob. As you can see inside the camera, there's a section for the film canister to go in what we call a take-up spool on the other side. So quite simply, your film should be delivered to you in a film pot such as this. And it often looks something like that. This is the film poking out of the, uh, the cassette, which is actually light tight, so light cannot get into this section. And this is the plastic part of the film where there's a chemical on the back which is sensitive to light. So this, se this section of the film has been exposed to light. The film inside the canister has not. So to load the camera, turn it face down, place the film to the left hand side of the camera. You can then place the rewind back into place and that will hold the film inside the camera. What we need to do now is thread this piece of film across to the take-up spool. There's a section where you can actually slip a small section of the film into the take-up spool. Like so. Now to increase the tension we simply wind on fire again using the, the shutter release button here. Wide on once more. And once we're satisfied that the film is being sufficiently taken up on that side of the spool, we can close the camera. What we then have to do with the camera is shoot two more shots. Wide on. Shoot. Wide on. At this point you'll be able to see that there's a number in the side of the window and that number should be number one. That signifies that you're on shot number one. One more final thing to do before you continue shooting is to ensure that the speed dial, which is this dial here, is correct, correctly set for the speed of film which you've been using. The speed of film that we use in the Academy is two times, either 100 ISO or 400. ISO, ensure in this little window here it says 400. And you're ready to go. Once you've finished shooting, whether it's 36 shots, 12 shots, or 20 shots, in this case I know the film has only 20 shots inside it that I can use, so I've shot up to 20. It's time to take the film out of the camera. This is a very important part of the photography because you don't want to ruin the film. You've actually spent more time photos on. So, it's quite simple. First thing we do is there is a little dial here with R on and an arrow. That's the rewind option. So if you twist that to release the rewind option in that position. Then, at the top of where the rewind knob is, there's a lever. Pull the lever on. From there, we simply wind clockwise. back into the light type of cast. With that click, that means the film has gone inside the cassette. Lift up the uh, re rewind release knob. Then we can open the back of the camera by pulling this down. You should find not only the film has gone back into the camera, but we've also got the tongue of the film hanging out, which makes it very easy to go to the next stage, which is processing the film.